to the Super Duper Marketing Vlog! Uh, uh, I'm Max, Max Tech Man. And I'm Ryan. And we are your presenters today. <laughs> uh, we're going to be running through some interesting marketing topics and how they can help you in your business. Uh, and we're going to be talking about some trends that will be happening. So, uh, first off, we have the uh, Ice Bucket Challenge. Yes, uh, that is everywhere today, so that is something we need to discuss. Uh, and we're also going to be talking about uh, Virgin's Meal for a Meal yep. program, which is a very worthy uh, cause. And finally, we're going to talk about ISIS, uh, the terrorist organization which has caused a lot of companies to rebrand themselves. We can't have missed the uh, Ice Bucket Challenge, which is currently going through, through some raising awareness uh, and support for uh, ALS. ALS. Yeah. Or in Australia, as we call it, a motor neuron disease. Yeah. And also, we have got uh, not only has this been a campaign which has been going on all over the world, it has also had some impact on uh, creating speed of campaigns like Rice Bucket Challenge oh. in Indian subcontinent. Actually, I haven't heard of Rice Bucket Challenge. What's Rice Bucket Challenge? Uh, instead of pouring water on yourself, you give rice to the poor. You give rice to the poor? Yeah. That sounds a lot more effective. Yes. So, first, uh, let's see what the Ice Bucket Challenge has been doing. Uh, like, uh, I personally think it's, uh, it's kind of like a, more of a luck rather than a well-planned marketing campaign on their part? What do you think? Well, I, the, the, the great thing about it is that it wasn't coming from the ALS Foundation, it came yeah. from the people. So that is yeah. a benefit, they didn't have to... Of course. They didn't have to do all that. And it has dramatically increased their donation rate. Yeah. That is correct. And also the fact that uh, uh, there was always this idea that uh, in order for a campaign to go viral, it needs to be really easy and simple and you know, otherwise people wouldn't do it. But a campaign like this... And it's very sexy, you know, you have lots of young, uh, fit people yeah. dousing themselves with water. That yeah. certainly doesn't help your chances. Yeah, that does. And also, I guess uh, uh, it helped the LS Foundation in the way that uh, at the very beginning of this, they got a lot of uh, celebrities involved in the process, which I guess kind of increase the snowball, awareness snowball and snowball into uh, the social media aspect of it. The thing is though, I do feel like a lot of people are just uh, just doing the videos and not donating and it's really important that, to have that donation aspect yeah. to it and you can't, can't yeah, otherwise you're just dousing yourselves in water. Uh, that's true and also like it needs to be seen like how much of the donation like I've seen they've uh, got more than 40 million donation in the period that the ALS campaign has been running, like how much of this percentage of the donation is actually being used in research? That's very important. That's very important. Well, there's one campaign that I think is actually really, uh, actually better than uh, at the uh, Ice Bucket Challenge, which is the Virgin Meal for a Meal uh, campaign that they're currently doing. Uh, we would, uh, Virgin, uh, basically, uh, if you take a, if you do go to a restaurant, if you make a nice meal, you take a photo of it and you, you share it on the, on the, on Instagram or Facebook or your social networks and you put the t hashtag meal for a meal, uh, they will donate a meal to somebody who can't afford a meal through the Odds Harvest Foundation. Right. Okay, so before we go into that, I just wanted to point out about the Rice Bucket Challenge. The Rice Bucket, yes. Yeah, the, which is a spin-off, uh, which started in the Indian subcontinent. I okay, think. which year? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it uh, started like in the last one or two weeks, I guess, if not earlier. Okay. But I uh, came across it and I saw a lot of people in sort of pouring water on themselves. They're actually donating uh, rice. Well, if you'd like to see us donate to the Rice Bucket Challenge, leave a comment in the comment section. Yeah, that would be a good idea. And uh, that is something, I guess, is connected to Meal for a Meal as well. Yes, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. the thing about Meal for a Meal is that uh, Virgin, yeah. Virgin, it's really interesting, each, um, each, ha it's, hashtag. each hashtag contributed, and it's up to a maximum, I do believe, of 400,000 meals they can donate through Oz Harvest. And uh, Oz Harvest, it's great because they're, they're recycling food from other restaurants or right. coals or Safeway yeah. that aren't going to mm -hmm. use them. And I think that actually it's better because yeah. it's a guaranteed amount and... And uh, like it is actually the 
whole amount is actually going towards providing meal uh, for people in need. Whereas in terms of ice bucket challenge, uh, like I've seen some of the studies which said like uh, maybe 25% or even less of their annual income was actually used for research. Mm. Whereas meal for a meal, it's like guaranteed to help the poor. And yeah, well, Ryan Khan does a great job, and you can do anytime you do you go to a restaurant. Uh, Ryan and I love to go to uh, to restaurants, do a bit of uh, Instagramming or food porn, food porn, <laughs> which I, has been uh, replaced by meal for a meal. Meal for a meal. So make sure in your next uh, meal, uh, so hashtag meal for a meal. meal. Uh, so the, another important uh, topic around the world at the moment is uh, the rise of ISIS, Islamic, which is Islamic. The state in uh, Iraq and Syria. Well, um, I, I would question if it's really Islamic. Oh, that is uh, uh, certainly something up for debate, uh, and it is because they're using the name of Islam to promote their political point of view, which uh, is very questionable in the sense that they're just picking and choosing words to justify their action. They're not really acting in Islamic. Behavior. Yeah, it is nothing Islamic in that, mm -hmm. and. Um, and they've been running uh, a reign of terror in the areas that they've been occupying and people that they have taken in as hostages. In terms of like you might have heard of or read about or seen the videos of the beheadings that's been going on and all the mass murders and everything. And it is really shocking and people under their rule are really suffering at the moment. But well, another person who's also suffering is, is, uh, is ISIS. Uh, ISIS. Yeah, uh, ISIS. Like, and I think it's been like more than one company. There's few companies, but uh, the ISIS. major major one was a, a internet payment company called, called ISIS. Called, yeah, called ISIS. Yeah, and they've built, uh, like, uh, used, invested so much on. On their brand. Into their brand. It's a worldwide brand. It's a worldwide brand. It's their app is available in the app stores or Google Play, and all of a sudden they're in this dilemma. And what about what about um, Windows Store? Is it available on Windows Store? Uh, Does that uh, even count as an app store? Uh, yeah, that is also up for debate. Maybe, <laughs> maybe if you want just to discuss that, <laughs> leave a comment. But you know, so they actually announced that they're going to be changing their name yeah. from ISIS because they yeah. don't want to be associated with um, the terrorist organization. Yeah, and that is something like, um, I mean, like they have spent so much on their brand and building the, the brand. Mm. It's not like it just happened overnight, but uh, suddenly overnight they're finding their name to be associated with something that doesn't represent them. That's really challenging. I mean, yeah. I, I, uh, actually, another the band she had, uh, in a lot of, actually, she had changed their name because they they thought it sounded too much like Jihad. They changed <laughs> their name. So that's the only one. Oh wow! I didn't hear about that. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put a picture up of them. Right. Uh, and um, so I, there's some other other things. So if, if if you've ever had an experience of a if you've had to change your your brand name due to some, something else really outside of your control. Yeah. Uh, let us know, let us know, because it's so frustrating when you put all yeah, that effort into it. That's true. And uh, in terms of like, apart from that mobile uh, payment company, uh, there's uh, also this l uh, luxury apartment uh, uh, real estate company in Florida, uh, which have found themselves to be in that dilemma as well. Their brand, I mean, their apartments were called ISIS for modern apartment living oh, wow. in downtown Miami and now they have to change the whole project's name you know actually in Melbourne which is where, we, where we're filming we've got yeah. a, there's a building in uh, in, in St. Kilda not so far from here yeah not so far from here that also has big ISIS yeah. uh, on the top I, wherever I drive past it's really freaking me out now. yeah that's true uh, I think uh, what's in the name but well it's very I, important but I, yeah. I guess you always got to be careful you know if yeah. you have a brain and you, 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 your, your brain gets hijacked Dubai. From uh, from another organization, you yeah. got to be very careful. Yeah, and that is something you need to spend time and effort into. So that was yourself. it. That was the super duper marketing vlog. <laughs> um, uh, we are uh, we are planning to do this on a regular basis. So if you've got topics or things you want us to shed light on, 
Just leave a comment below. Yeah, leave a comment below. Don't Do remember to subscribe. To subscribe, like, share this video. And, uh, and until next time, have a great day. Have a great day. Bye.